Good morning, happy Friday. I have Neuro Coffee in hand and it is perfect. Yesterday was Thursday, chips and salsa day. I actually got to sit down in the restaurant. I actually uh, got to see uh, my brother and his wife actually, which we haven't seen, they haven't seen them in 10 weeks. So it's been a great week. Very busy with a great coach's call yesterday morning at 6 a.m. So don't forget next week, 6 a.m. Join us for that. And let's dive into today's q and A. It's actually a, a pretty good one. Uh, this comes from Mikhail. Mikhail says, if someone's standing on their left leg and the other leg is uh, flexed with the hip and knee at 90 degrees, um, the standing leg is then excessively externally rotated, abducted, and extended. Why is that? And what should I do with that? This is actually pretty straightforward. So I actually use a test that's very, very similar to this um, in the clinic to help identify some of these things. But let's let's talk th through what we want to see happen under those circumstances first, and then we'll talk about what what actually does happen. So essentially, standing on this this left leg, and we're gonna we're gonna flex the opposite hip there. And so what what Mikhail's describing is as this leg moves into hip flexion. What we should see on the support side is we should see a little bit of internal rotation of that, of that left ilium. So we get what looks like a posterior rotation there. But basically, it's just securing the position of this, of this ilium under those circumstances. Because when the hip is extended at relative zero for, for standard measurements in 90 degrees here, we have two representations of, of a propulsive strategy which should put this into an exhaled position. So I should have a constant or pelvic diaphragm supporting this position. However, what he's describing, so as this opposite hip goes into to hip flexion to 90 degrees, what we're seeing is an externally rotated position of the ilium, which was gonna orient this, this femur into external rotation. And so this is somebody that is moving too quickly to an, a, a, on the back end of the propulsive phase. So, so they are in late propulsion too soon. So what we need to do is we need to teach this person how to delay this. So from a strategy perspective, it gets really, really interesting. So you think about some things that you could do. So let's just say we could put them into a left knee down, half kneeling position, but that's the exact same stance position that we just measured. So the chances of being successful under those circumstances are minimal. So what we have to do is we have to establish the exhalation strategy. So we have to get them somewhere to that, that middle propulsive position where they can achieve the concentric pelvic diaphragm, the internally rotated ilium. And so the easiest way to do that actually is to uh, bring the left knee up. And so we're gonna start somewhere with the left hip in a 90 degree position and we're gonna teach them how to delay and shift backwards on that left side first so we can capture this middle propulsive strategy. So, so from, a, from an exercise standpoint, this is where like Camperini deadlifts come in really, really handy. Um, the left shift uh, squat strategies, I have a video up there on YouTube on that. Um, try that actually, that's a really good position to be in. Um, the front foot elevated split squat variations that are actually delaying propulsion with the left foot elevated on, on, the, on the box. So that'd be your front foot. And then once you're able to recapture the internal rotation of that left hip, that would be a good sign for you now to switch and try to bring that, that left knee down to the floor into a half kneeling position. Then you start to work on capturing the, a, a really useful propulsive middle uh, middle range strategy of, of that of that half kneeling position. So there's a video on YouTube that actually describes how to capture that as well. So I want to point you in that direction, Mikhail. And then once you do that, once you actually capture that effective left half kneeling position, you've got chops, you've got lifts, you've got presses, you've got pulls, you've got all split squat variations with the right foot lead. Um, and then um, what you can do is you can go back to the original position where you saw the externally rotated hip position where they were driving into early propulsion and use that as your test retest. So there's a lot of things that you can do here, but, but what I would say is the first things first is, one, don't try to use the, the hip in that, in that zero degrees of hip extension strategy. I would move them into the 90 degree position, work there to delay the propulsive phase, and then slowly bring 
um, that, that leg back towards extension. So hopefully that gives you some strategy and some understanding as to what you're actually looking at. Um, thank you, Mikhail, for the, for the question. It was a great question to wrap up the week. I had a great week. Hope you guys did too. I will see you next week. Finish your coffee, grab a workout. Have a great weekend.